Greetings to all of you who have gathered in beautiful Kigali for the inaugural African Transformation Forum. I'm very sorry that I'm unable to be with you, but on behalf of all of my colleagues at the Ford Foundation around the world, I send you a hearty and warm welcome. I join my good friend Rita Roy in welcoming you and supporting the very important work of the African Center for Economic Transformation. And I extend a congratulations to Dr. K.Y. Amaoko, who I've known since his days at the World Bank and who continues to inspire me and people around the world. At the Ford Foundation, we are on a global fight against inequality in all of its forms, fighting against impunity, fighting against cultural narratives that justify growing inequality, building more inclusive economies where nations can have shared prosperity among its people. Our work is focused on disrupting the drivers of inequality, but we are informed by our partners, by grantees and leaders in countries around the world with whom we work as to how we craft particular interventions in specific nations and places. And thus we depend on you for guidance, for counsel, the wisdom that you bring to us as we support efforts around the world to reduce inequality. So we will be watching and monitoring and listening so that together we can work towards a more sustainable, durable, and prosperous Africa. And now I'd like to share with you another important African voice, that of my friend Fred Swanaker, the founder of the African Leadership Academy, who will talk about inequality as part of a Ford Foundation series, Inequality Is, where we have gathered leaders from around the world to share their perspective on inequality and how it manifests in their region. We invite you to join us at hashtag inequality is to share your perspective and join in the global conversation. Over to you, Fred. I don't believe there's anything special in the water in Silicon Valley that creates all these innovators like Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and so forth that transforms the world. What is different is that a 17-year-old kid with an idea is given a chance. If we're really going to come out of poverty in Africa, and eradicate this inequality. We need to create jobs more than anything else. Youth unemployment is one of the biggest problems we have on the continent. We have a young population that is growing the fastest in the world. 60% of the population in Africa is below the age of 21. We're gonna have a larger workforce than China and India by 2050. A billion people will need jobs. You know, the young people on the continent who have the greatest potential to really bring about change are not necessarily are getting access to opportunities to develop themselves and, and to bring their ideas and their passion to transform Africa. Everywhere across Africa, we have exceptionally talented people who have the potential to be, you know, true game changers on the continent of Africa, who can really create innovative African solutions. You know, our next Nelson Mandela, our own Steve Jobs, innovators who can really solve our big problems for the continent. What we need to do is to find them and to develop them fully and holistically as, as, as human beings and, and as leaders, and then unleash their potential to really transform Africa. 